Welcome to a Saturday morning mic talk. It's good to be with you. I'm waking up, shaking out the cobwebs of being asleep. <laughs> so I just shook my head like I'm literally shaking out cobwebs. I can't prove that there are cobwebs inside of my head, but it feels like it this morning. Hey, I hope you guys are good. I am excited because tomorrow is the Lord's Day. And uh, if you join us here at Song and Sword online, uh, we've got a great sermon from Acts chapter 2. Again, about life change. How do people change? 3,000 people's lives change completely on that first day of the church. How's that happen? If you need change or a friend needs change, join us online. I'm also excited because tomorrow we're having another live gathering of Song and Sword. 250 of us are going to be there. And uh, if you've uh, registered online and you've got your you know, virtual ticket, um, my communications team tells me that you need to, um, if you haven't heard from us, you need to go to uh, join us. That's the words, join us, at songandsword.com, uh, and you can get information or just send a, a, an email saying, hey, we need information about tomorrow's event. Here's why. Some of you guys, uh, Song and Sword is going to your junk uh, folder, so uh, we're getting kickbacks on that. So if you would just go and check, it's really this simple, and again, only if you have uh, virtual tickets for signing up, uh, but it's just, you just drive to Hancock Stadium, pull in that VIP lot where people park all the time that have VIP stickers and take the elevator up to the, um, to the lounge. That's where we're going to be uh, worshiping Jesus tomorrow. I hope to see you there live and give you a hug. And if you can't be there live, good news. Tomorrow opens another re registration at Song and Sword um, for a June 25th event. And also you can get some swag. That's all I got to say today. That's a lot of announcements, but I love you guys. Um, Quentin and uh, Trudy uh, Cook, yes, that's the answer to your question. And um, that's it. Rod Dale, we'd love to go uh, riding uh, motorcycles with you guys sometimes. Yes. What else can I say? That's it. God bless you guys. We're praying for you. Today I'm going to go to Psalm uh, chapter 16. Psalm 16. I'm going to read the first uh, seven verses. I'm, I'm sorry, six verses. Psalm 16, 6. And uh, this, call, this song is a miktam of David. What's a miktam? Well, it's a term that we don't know, but it's probably some musical term. There's a lot of musical terms there's a shigion, there is a selah, there is a miktam. All of these are probably words we think that, uh, that um, selah means to rest or to pause. But they're musical um, things that David, uh, signs that David had given to sing his song. Someday in heaven, I hope one of the cool things we get to do is hear what the psalms really sounded like. We might be surprised. Psalm 16, verse 1. Preserve me, O God. For you, in you, I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my light, I, or my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. So David's saying, the righteous, God, you're my refuge. Um, there are people in the land who sacrifice to other gods, who speak to other gods, but not me. I'm not going to do that, but here's what he says in verse 5. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. Now, David is using um, ancient um, historical language for um, an inheritance and for what would be measured out for someone when they got the inheritance of land from their father or from their family or even from the Lord. And uh, it's really, really awesome language when you think about it in terms of what he's saying, the Lord, the Lord, you are my chosen portion. You're, you're my chosen portion. You, you are the, you're the land that's been laid out for me. Um, the chosen portion would be the father or the family or somebody who owns the land is dividing it up and saying, here's your portion. Here's your portion of land. And um, David is going, Lord, you are my portion of land. You are what I need today. He goes on to say, though, you hold my lot. Sometimes these portions, sometimes these inheritances were determined by casting lots. The, the word for lot in Hebrew means it's a little pebble. And some, like a, think of a dice. And they would throw kind of a pebble. They would pray to God and they would throw the pebble. And as the pebble turned up, that would be your inheritance. 
And David says, Lord, I'm not worried about today because it looks around me like um, people are worshiping other gods. Things are failing. I'm praying for you guys. I know you've got marriage issues. I know you've got kid issues. I know you've got financial issues. I I'm praying for you. And I'm experiencing what you're experiencing. But here's what David says. Even though the experience doesn't look great all the time, Lord, you've got the pebble that's going to determine my future in your hand. And he says this in verse um, seven, uh, 6. He's going on. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. In other words, the ropes... The ropes that have lined up what my inheritance is have fallen in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. David is using inheritance language to go, man, what a great day. They cast the lots, they drew the lines, and I love the place where I dwell. David is saying, Lord, that's you. Today, don't worry about the lots that other people have in their hands. Don't worry about the measurements other people or other circumstances have for you. The, the, the lot of, of your life, the future of your life, the inheritance of your life is in the Lord's hands today. He is your inheritance and he's enough. Focus on that today. We get us through Saturday to the Lord's day. Go to church tomorrow if you don't have one. Online at songandsword.com online at Song and Sword, um, and uh, 10 o'clock, invite a friend. And for those of you who have tickets, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.